Hello, welcome to the first video of the Radiologist YouTube account. What we're going to do today is a quick video on how to tell if a nasogastric tube is in the right place on a chest x-ray. Well, that was a little bit of a dramatic intro, wasn't it? So NG tube placement is really important because when it goes wrong, it really does go wrong. And what you don't want is the patient to be fed through their lung. So have a look at this example. Here the tube is going straight down, but then it goes off to the right, down the right main bronchus. This is what you don't want. And if you do see this, you must make sure that the tube is removed straight away because if the patient is fed through there, it can be absolutely catastrophic and can end up in, well, death, which I think we can agree is not good for anybody. So going back a step, how do we make sure in general whether a tube is in the right place once we put it in? Well, in lots of places within the world, we go straight for a chest x-ray. Being from the UK, what we do here is we stick a syringe on the end of the tube and we check the pH, looking to see if we've got the pH of gastric fluid, i.e. less than 5.5. If we can't get an aspirate or the pH is more than 5.5, well, in those cases, we go for a chest x-ray. So the chest x-ray is a really useful tool to be sure that the tube is in the right place before we commence feeding. And there are four simple rules that I try to follow to make sure that the tube is in the right place. The first rule is probably the most important. So find the trachea, follow it down, it splits off into right and left main bronchus at the carina. And you wanna be sure that the tube bisects the carina. Lovely word bisect, isn't it? So you wanna be sure that the tube can be seen below the level of the carina. And if it does, it's very unlikely that it's going to be in the airway and more likely it's going to be within the esophagus, which is where you want it. The story doesn't end there though, so follow it down, have a look at the level of the diaphragm. Does the tube pass within the centre, within the middle? If it does, again, you're more likely that the tube is going down the esophagus and then going through the gastroesophageal junction. Then when should it go next? Well, it should go to the stomach in the left upper quadrant of the abdomen. So the next step is to make sure that the tube passes below the left hemidiaphragm. If you satisfy those three rules, you're pretty on pretty safe territory there. But to be absolutely sure, you want to see the tip of the tube there in the left upper quadrant of the abdomen. So to recap, firstly, make sure that the tube bisects the carina. Then follow it down. Does it pass the diaphragm in the center? Then does it go into the left upper quadrant of the abdomen? Then can you see the tip of the tube? If you've satisfied all of these things, you can be fairly certain that the tube is in the right place and you can start feeding the patient. Unfortunately, like all things, there are times where you can't satisfy those rules because there's abnormal anatomy. Either there's a hiatus hernia or a gastric surgery. So the tube's going to be looking like it's doing all funny things, but in reality, it is in the right place. So my advice for these times would be to have a look at any previous films where the patients had an NG tube or try and see if there's a CT scan so you can map out where the tube should be going in this patient's unique anatomy. Hopefully you found this video useful and if you did please let me know in the comments below and please subscribe to find any more videos. Thanks a lot, bye!